Yeah. Um, yeah, Phoenix, um, first, how was the trip over to Perth and how have you recovered? Yeah, it was a pretty big trip. We were over there for about three or four days, so um, all the boys were pretty tired afterwards, but a couple of days off to refresh and get some good recovery in, and we had a good session just then, so um, ready to go against the Bulldogs. Is it a little bit of a lighter load this week because of that trip? Uh, not really. We weren't too happy with our performance on um, Saturday, so we're ripping in. Um, you know, we don't really um, have many light weeks, so we just try and um, improve every every day we're here. So um, today was was a good solid session to go again tomorrow and play Saturday or uh, Sunday. Must be nice as well. Home crowd this weekend. You got a few home games coming up. Yeah, we have got three in a row, which is really nice after a couple of big trips to Canberra and Perth. So boys are looking really forward to that that block and um, should be a big crowd there. And, um, we've had a lot of chats about you know we've got three games there, so. Um, you know, we've got a big responsibility to perform for the fa our home fans. You guys really turned around the home ground record compared to last year. Has that been a real emphasis this year? Yeah, it has been. Uh, I've said it multiple times to you guys. It's um, something we speak about quite a lot is um, our home fans and what they deserve, and they deserve to see us win. So, yeah, last year wasn't good enough. And, you know, I hate talking about last year because we're so far into this year, we, we don't think about that anymore. But, um, yeah, we're really happy with how we're going and uh, be good to put another one on the board, obviously. How are you feeling? Well, how's the how's the side feeling after five wins on the trot now? Yeah, it's a really good vibe at the moment. Um, you know, we're smiling all the time, so uh, we've got really good, positive people in this team, coaches, staff, and, and the players, obviously. So, um, yeah, five in a row has been really good, and um, when you win it, everyone, everyone's happy, so it's been good. Shame for Braddy as well, a little bit of an injury. Yeah, it's no good for Braddy. He's had such a good year and um, had a good run with his injury, so... Um, I don't expect he'll be out too long, it's just a bit of a groin trouble, so um, yeah, he'll be right and come back in a couple of weeks, hopefully. Uh, you said you weren't happy with last week's performance. What are the areas, I assume you've done a review, what was kind of the areas that you need to improve on? Oh, we're letting 28 points, which is not what we want. Um, so defence has been a massive focus for us um, in the review and um, the preview for the Bulldogs. Um, they're a high offload team and they throw the ball around, so defence will be, will be massive for us and just our attitude and um, you know defending our home ground. So. Um, I'd say defence is, is massive for us. Yeah, and last time you met them, obviously you did quite a job on them. Are you expecting this time around the Bulldogs will be will have a bit of a point to prove, I guess? 100%. It's not going to be 66 nil again. Um, and we spoke about that. We're not getting complacent with what happened five weeks ago. So, um, yeah, we're treating them like every other game. They're, they're a quality team. They've got a great team team list and um, some strike all over the field. So, no way we're taking, taking them lightly. and. Um, our training work will be really steely and um, we'll go after them, hopefully. And you're part of a spine now that seems to be really gelling. How's that feeling for you as part of that? Oh, it's been great having, having the same spine most of the year and um, everyone's playing really well. Obviously, KP's been outstanding for us and Jacko leading us around. So, um, you know, I've just been really enjoying playing with them, them fellas and um, we're all pretty good mates too, which is good off the field. Speaking of, of your game, obviously Hooker's not been your position through juniors. Now that you've been in that position for a number of weeks, how are you, how are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling great. I, I'm really enjoying it. Obviously, yeah, it's a bit, bit different to playing in the halves and make a few more tackles, but um, you know, I've said it before, I've got a great forward pack there. I've got Hevro and Ads Elliott, the two Saps, Leo, everyone that sort of keeps me safe. So um, all they do is make me tackles and pass the footy and try and create something for everyone else. So um, I'm really enjoying it. and. A lot of encouragement and, and um, you know advice from people that I need to take it from, and it's um, I've loved the challenge and um, yeah, really happy with it. Have you been feeling after each game? Because some games you're making like 40, 40 tackles, so I imagine you're quite sore and tired. Yeah, yeah, it's um, well, I'm getting used to it now. The first couple of weeks is obviously a bit different, and um, you know we're pretty pretty late in the year now, so every everyone's sore. Um, doesn't matter what position you play, so. Yeah, I've just been ticking all the boxes in recovery and doing my video and stuff to get me better and um, you know, I've got good processes in place with that sort of stuff and um, the performance staff here really looking after me so I'm comfortable and um, always looking to level up and keep improving. Does it help having someone like Danny Badiris around just to ask some advice, maybe playing that position on a long term basis? Yeah, for sure. bezzy has been massive for me. Um, even Browers, even though he's not training or playing, he's been, you know, in my ear and I've been in his ear. And, you know, we've got Rory Cross Jason, Michael Moynihan. Great crew there, hookers that have played. You know, they've also trans transferred from half to hooker. So um, I'm, I'm in really good hands and I owe a lot of my season um, to them sort of guys. So, yeah, I'm really lucky to have them in my corner. Obviously, you said before, you can't be complacent coming into this round. A lot of people will be expecting you to beat 
the Bulldogs. And if you get that, I guess, in your mind that, oh, we're just going to win this, this could be a very different game. Yeah, there's no way anyone in this building is thinking like that um, for this Bulldogs game. Um, you know, they beat the Dolphins a couple of weeks ago, so and they're, they're coming off a of bye, so they're going to be nice and fresh, and um, we're expecting them to come after us because, um, you know, they want to prove a point for, for their fans as well. So, um, like I said, it, it won't be 66-0 again. It's going to be a, um, it's going to be a really tough grind, grind and footy, and um, that's the way we're training, and we're, and we're ready for their ambush. Phoenix, have you spoken at all as a group about how you could potentially finish in the top six and get a home final? Um, not necessarily that just of yet. It's more just making the finals, and um, each week is is no, it's cliche to take. We say we take week by week, but that's honestly what we're doing, and it's worked um, so far over the last month and a bit. So um, yeah, we'll be sticking to that sort of process, and only thinking about the Bulldogs. But as I said, a home final will be insane in Newcastle, and I'm sure it's at the back of everyone's mind and uh, mine as well. I, I dream about having a home final here one day, and hopefully it's not too far away. Mate, you've played every game this year. Is how much of a goal is it to go through and not miss a game, or, or do you think you may need a week off at some point to sort of freshen up? Um, I won't be putting my hand up for a week off. Um, I won't be going as you asking for a week off, but um, injury is not something anyone wants. But um, you know, I've done well so far, touch wood. So I'll be looking to keep that, keep playing every game.